Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. My name is Pastor Jeremiah Johnston, and I have the privilege of serving as pastor of apologetics and cultural engagement here at Prestonwood Baptist Church. And on behalf of our pastor, Dr. Jack Graham, and our entire Prestonwood Church family and Prestonwood Christian Academy family, let me welcome you to the 2023 special graduation for Dallas Theological Seminary. It's a great day to be here. We want our DTS family to know that we're thrilled uh, to be hosting this graduation again. We love our partnership with DTS. And I also want to, I recognize a lot of people in the audience. So I want to recon, also welcome our Prestonwood family. And of course, I want to invite you, uh, if, you've not, if you don't have a church home, to join us at any of our weekend services. We have services on Sundays here, right here in this room in our Plano campus at 9.30 and 11, and then also at our North Campus in Prosper, Texas, where we have services at 8.30, 10, and 11.30. We hope that you will check out any of those services, knowing that you're always welcome. Let us know how we can serve you. And friends, I just want to tell all of our graduates, our faculty, the faculty, the staff, the administration of Dallas Theological Seminary. Congratulations to each of you at this graduation for 2023, and congratulations to all the family, friends, and loved ones that are here as well. God bless you.
Well, good morning, friends. It is my privilege to welcome you to this very special occasion. We are certainly honored to have the graduates from 2023 with us today. I'm stating the obvious because without you, none of us would be here. What a thrill it is to see such a full auditorium, not just of graduates, but of families and friends. In regard to the service, I am so appreciative to the hospitality, the cooperation, and support of Pastor Jack Graham, Sarah Gurley, and the faithful staff here at Prestonwood Baptist Church for working with us to hold our commencement service here once again. You guys are incredible. There are few moments at Dallas Theological Seminary that provide as much joy as this particular event. Commencement is exactly what it means, a beginning, a commencement. While I know our graduates and definitely their families think of it as the end, it is truly a beginning of a new season of service to our Lord. A season, I might add, though, without papers, exams, books to read, summaries to write, quizzes, etc., and to all of that, all the graduates said amen. Amen. Graduates revel in the joy of new beginnings. It is simply good, but it also comes with new responsibilities. You are now stewards of a sacred trust. Honor him with that. I know that every graduate is honored to have you, their family and friends here today. They love you. But I know that each of them also wants you to know why they have been pursuing study at Dallas Theological Seminary. It's because they want to be better equipped to tell the world about the hope, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this good news is available for all, everyone here today. We believe that Jesus Christ paid the price for sin by giving his own life. John's gospel says it this way, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you are visiting today as a guest of a graduate and you have not trusted Jesus Christ for salvation, do it. Turn to Jesus. Believe in him. Believe that he is the one who died for you. And friend, you will not perish, but be granted life eternal. That would be the greatest present that you could ever give your grad. The mission of Dallas Theological Seminary as a professional graduate level school is to glorify God by equipping godly servant leaders for the proclamation of His Word and the building up of the body of Christ worldwide. And it is today that we fulfill this mission statement in the lives of these graduates. This year marks the completion of our 99th year of existence. God has been so gracious to DTS. God has been faithful. He has made provision. And we have once again seen that this past year. For the faculty and staff, this is a day of mixed emotions. We are sad to say goodbye to those who have, we've grown to know and love as they leave into their respective ministries. But we rejoice for the privilege God has given us to contribute to their growth of knowledge, skills, and character. We anticipate seeing what God is going to do through them in the next chapter of their lives. I would like to acknowledge several special groups of people who are here with us today. If you are either the spouse or a family member of those graduating, Will you please stand to be recognized and thanked? We are grateful for you. Thank you for playing an integral part 
of their journey at DTS. Our entire board of incorporate members, which includes our regents, meets several times each year to pray, evaluate the health of the seminary, recommit themselves to the doctrine, mission, and purposes of the seminary, and to seek the mind of the Lord for guidance and direction regarding the future of the seminary. Our trustees also meet monthly to oversee the stewardship of the school. All serve without remuneration because they love the Lord and the people who work and study at DTS. A few of them are here today, and if you are a member of the Board of Incorporate Members, I would like to ask that you and your spouse, if present, stand that we might honor your efforts. Another group of faithful men and women who work often at great sacrifice to make the work of quality theological education a reality is the Dallas Seminary staff. If you are in the room, and I realize that many are still outside working, if you are here in the room, would you please stand that we might recognize you? It is also most fitting to acknowledge the godly and gifted faculty God has assembled here at Dallas Theological Seminary. All our faculty, along with Dr. Bailey, our chancellor, and Dr. Swindoll, our chancellor emeritus, would all of you, along with your spouses, please stand. This is an incredible team with whom I am privileged to work. Today, we would like to especially recognize two of our longtime professors who will be retiring at the end of June. Dr. Lanier Burns, Distinguished Professor of Systematic Theology and Research Professor of Theological Studies, is retiring after 55 years in ministry. He has spent the last 43 years at DTS where he has served in the Theological Studies Department and was the department chair for over 19 years. He looks forward to having a few more spare hours to enjoy his various hobbies, which include reading, sports, music, gardening, travel, and caring for some very special pets. Dr. Burns, we love you. Please stand along with your precious wife, Kathy, so that we may honor you for your faithful, faithful years of service. Also retiring after serving at DTS for 35 years, is Dr. Daniel Wallace. Dr. Wallace joined the full-time faculty at DTS in 1988 and served in the New Testament Studies Department. Dr. Wallace retires as Senior Research Professor of New Testament Studies, and he plans to devote more of his time to the Center for the Study of New Testament Manuscripts. His wife, Patty, joins him today on this very special occasion. Dan and Penny, Patty, would you please stand and let us honor you for faithful years of service. And like I say, no one really retires from Dallas Seminary. They just turn into adjunct faculty and quit going to committee meetings. <laughs> Today, we also remember one of our retired faculty members who went to be with the Lord in December of 2022, Dr. Aubrey Malfers. Dr. Aubrey Malfers taught at DTS for 38 years in the Educational Ministries and Leadership Department and in the Pastoral Ministries Department. He also served as the Assistant Director of Field Education and the Director of Admissions during his time at DTS. 
He had been married to his wife, Susan, for 59 years. We miss Dr. Malfers, especially on occasions such as this, and we acknowledge the immense contribution he made to DTS in service to our Lord. Now, as we continue in celebration of our 2023 DTS graduates, please join us as we together honor and give glory to our great God. Well, good morning. You all will have to excuse me, I'm in the counseling department. I want you to give yourselves permission to see this as a celebration. Let's try it again. Good morning. Much better, much better. Well, one of the things that I love about being a faculty member is that we get to start our classes with prayer. And all of the graduates know it, all of the faculty and staff know it, but family and friends, we want you to know that prayer changes things. It sets the tone for everything that follows. So today is going to be no different. We're going to start this celebration with prayer. Will you bow your heads with me now for prayer? Oh, Father, we thank you for this day, Commencement Day, for the class of 2023. Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name. You have been faithful when we have not been. For this, we say thank you. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone, you are the one who will guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Bless this commencement service. Pour out a special anointing for our speaker, Jonathan Evans. Lord, we ask that this be a glorious day for the graduates, their families, and friends. And for the next chapter in their lives, teach them the way they must go and how they are to pursue the work that you have called them to do. We love you, Lord, and we honor you. We pray this in your mighty son's Jesus' name and for his sake. And let us all say together, amen. The Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 36. And the jailer reported these words to Paul, saying, The chief magistrates have sent to release you. Therefore, come out now and go in peace. Dallas Theological Seminary is honored to play a significant role in preparing men and women on the graduate level for effective Christian ministry in the United States and around the world. We desire to equip godly servant leaders. We believe this equipping process or preparation is both educational and spiritual, and it involves three key elements. A strong emphasis on Bible knowledge and theology, the cultivation of ministry and relational skills, and a firm commitment to spiritual formation and leadership. This combination of scriptures, growth in spiritual maturity, and skillful, servant-hearted leadership in the church is what Dallas Theological Seminary is all about. All our academic programs emphasize these distinctives, and you will find the purpose of each one of our degrees being awarded today in the commencement program. The commencement program also contains 465 names of this year's graduating class. Of those, 315 are participating in today's ceremony. The remaining are graduating in absentia. As you follow the names in the program, only the graduates present and participating will be named during the ceremony. The photos of graduates that you saw today before the ceremony began are pictures that, of many of our folks who are participating today. Many of our graduates have taken a portion or all of their coursework from one of our extension or teaching sites located in Northwest Arkansas, Atlanta, 
Austin, College Station, Fort Worth, Houston, Indianapolis, San Antonio, Washington, D.C., as well as Guatemala and Israel. Dallas Theological Seminary is truly a global seminary. The flags behind me represent the 52 nations of our current students as well of where our graduates are from. Some graduates received their degrees last summer or fall, and others will finish their work and receive their degrees at the end of the summer. An asterisk following a graduate's name indicates academic honors, and the legend at the top of page 12 of your program explains these. Student and faculty awards that were given at Commencement Chapel yesterday or earlier in the school year are listed on pages 24 through 26. In the procession of the faculty and the graduates, you saw a variety of colorful academic regalia. Each robe and hood is intended to signify the academic degree held by the wearer and the school that awarded the degree. At Dallas Theological Seminary, hoods trimmed in black represent the Master of Biblical and Theological Studies degree. White represents the Master of Arts degree. Those trimmed in scarlet represent the discipline of theology as seen in the hood of the Master of Theology and Master of Sacred Theology degrees, as well as Doctor of Theology and Doctor of Ministry degrees. Hoods trimmed in light blue represent the Doctor of Education and Doctor of Educational Ministry degrees, and those trimmed in dark blue represent the discipline of philosophy as seen in the hood for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. The royal purple and gold inside the hoods are the colors of Dallas Theological Seminary. It is my privilege to present the class of 2023 along with those who have received their degrees last year and are participating today for their respective certificates and degrees. Our registrar, Dr. Sabrina Hobson, will assist Dr. Mark Yarbrough in awarding the degrees after I present the graduates in each category. The names of the graduates will be read by members of the faculty as noted on pages six and seven of your program. Dr. Herman Baxter, Dean of Students, will assist. Dr. Scott Harris, Director of Doctor of Education and Doctor of Educational Ministries programs, will hood the Doctor of Educational Ministry and Doctor of Education graduates. Dr. Scott Barfoot, Director of Doctor of Ministry program, will hood the Doctor of Ministry graduates. And Dr. Vic Anderson, Director of Doctor of Philosophy program, will hood the Doctor of Philosophy graduates. Dr. Greg Hatterberg, Executive Director of Alumni Services, will greet the graduates and welcome them into the Alumni Association as they descend the platform after receiving their diploma. Indeed, this is a celebratory occasion for our graduates and their family and friends, and we certainly do want you to enjoy it. However, we do have one simple request, and we do appreciate in advance you honoring this request. Because it's our desire to maintain decorum and to keep the celebration enjoyable for everyone and to save about 20 minutes on the program. The administration and faculty request that you withhold all recognition, no shouts, applauses, cowbells, foghorns, etc. until I announce the completion of each degree category, at which time you can hoop and holler as loud as you wish. But there is another important reason why we do this. We know you as family and friends, you are so excited about your graduate. But we're asking you to do this to honor the graduate who comes after your graduate. Because when you celebrate, then the next graduate can't hear their name. And so when I give you the signal, you can celebrate as loud as you would like. We will say this though, if you wish family and friends, please stand quietly as your graduate is receiving his or her diploma and then you can be seated. We want this to be a special time of joy and celebration. Now, I will present to you the candidates for degree conferral. Well, the candidates for graduation with the Masters of Biblical and Theological Studies degree, please stand. 
Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to certify that these students, including those in absentia, have met the necessary requirements, have completed the required work at Dallas Theological Seminary, and are candidates for the Master of Biblical and Theological Studies, as well as Certificate of Graduate Studies. As the president of Dallas Theological Seminary, with the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents on behalf of the faculty and in accordance with the laws of the state of Texas, I hereby confer on these candidates the appropriate certificates or master's degrees with all of the rights, honors, and privileges attached thereto. Receiving the Master of Biblical and Theological Studies degree, Vinod M. Abraham. Pedro Eduardo Andrade. Brian Ellis Bailey. Lucinda Marie Baumgartner. Michael C. Bridges. Charlotte Clay Buell. Voltaire Duran Cacal. Kathleen Cave. Lauren Catherine Clausen. Mark Edward Davis. Katie Elizabeth Downs. John David Elliott. Mary Amy Morris Elton.
David Estevez. Blair Lauren Foster. Daniel Harry Gallagher. Vincy Daniel George. Samuel Gromotzian. Donna Marie Gillespie. Charles Wayne Gilliland. Caroline Evelyn Hales. Guichan Hana Han. Carter Herod. Andrea Lynn Harris. Katherine Johnson. Barbara E. Klett. Yu Ming Kong. Shane Howard Cresta. Robert Michael Lester. Ling Chi Li. Wen Biao Lu. Stephen Ma. Mary Hazel McMillan. Kimberly K. Marquette. Andrew Moyes. Ugaji Adenaya Obana. Carol Scott Perry. Charles Randall Phillips. Matthew William Pinto. Deborah Renner Price. Catherine Hall Rhodes. Brian Michael Ritz. Tara Lee Rodos. Jesse E. Roy. Laney Beth Sinclair.
Cynthia Lynette Singletary. Wade Francis Sousa. Lance Talkington. Terry Jewel Thomas. Chanel Ann Turner. Craig A. Washington. Michael Brian White. Ricardo O'Neill Whitehead. Laura Satterwhite Woods. Shuang Xu. Cha Ai Yao. Now's your time. Please stand and congratulate your MBT. And I was gonna have you stand and congratulate and say thanks to the folks who have been supporting you as well. So please do so. Well, the candidates for graduation with the Master of Arts degrees, please stand. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to certify that these students, including those in absentia, have met the necessary requirements and have completed the required work at Dallas Theological Seminary and are candidates for their respective Master of Arts degree. As the president of Dallas Theological Seminary, with the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents and on behalf of the faculty, and in accordance with the laws of the state of Texas, I hereby confer on these candidates the appropriate Master of Arts degrees with all of the rights, honors, and privileges attached thereto.
receiving the Master of Arts in Christian Studies degree, Brad Boyd. Doris Elaine Burson. Chen Renwei. Karen Kalen Cook. Brittany Lee Cox. Roy Dalolio. Marcos Jikeroka. Ebner Flores Armijo. Margarita Guido Montilongo. Victor Hernandez Garcia. Gloria Huang. Adriana Knight. Liu Jingzhu. Liu Baozhong. Gregorio Lopez Pena. Van Miguel Martinez. Owen Leroy Moorhead. Diego Moreno Soto. Paul Joseph Moyer. David Ojeda Rojas. Norberto Pagan. Janet Therianos. Samuel Vega. Jimmy Don Wallace. Rainbow Wang Yihong. James Xie. Receiving the Master of Arts in Christian Education degree, Lois Lisa Joy Adams. Wilma Logante Bade. Jonathan Shiresh Bourdais. Rebecca Ashbrook Carroll. Sien Fong Joseph Go. Dana Darlene Grubb.
Bayanera Guerrero. Tyler Matthew Heidelberg. Chasten Marquel Hendricks. Matthew William Holly. Kabwe Wende Kalunde Benaya. May Whitney Maintjes. Davis Mursali. Glennis Diana Neathling. Adresha Lindera Pemberton. <laughs> Millicy A. Pipkin. Lacey Mullane Pruitt. Trisha Roth. Alicia Nicole Smith. Kakisha Hamrick Smith. Michelle Morgan Spady. Felicia Charlene Tennerson. Kurt Thompson. Luke Mason Thompson. Karen Annette Tollison. Andrew Joseph Wackerly. Haley Nicole Whitaker. Okay, go ahead, come on up. Receiving concurrently the Master of Arts in Christian Education and the Master of Biblical and Theological Studies, Christina Lynn Reed. Receiving concurrently the Master of Arts in Christian Education and the Master of Arts in Christian Studies degrees, Jabari Dennis Scott. Receiving the Master of Arts in Biblical Counseling degree, Melanie Esther Baker. Amy Lee Balidis. Brooke Ashley Benedict. Christine Elizabeth Jordan. Jenna Lee Klein. Christine Priscilla Lawrence. Tiara Patrice Lips. Victoria Otto.
Sharon Pereira. Zachary Colin Reed. Melissa Ann Smith. Natalie Marsal Thayer. Dawn Kirk Wright. Alexandra Ray Bruins. April Marie Bryant. Ashley Ann Cordell. Nicole Lene Corey. Elizabeth Grace Dagger. Noah Christian Day. Shivam Jayantabai Desai. Sydney Lauren Eshbaugh. Andrew Frederick Fortney. Kate Lorian Gilliland. Leslie Nicole Gomez. Jessica Marie Gustafson. Caitlin Alexandra Gujek Har. Kelsey Wallace Hankins. Olivia Grace Hatfield. Madeline Raymer Hayes. Brooke Elise Irwin. Michelle Elaine Johnson. Alicia Kentz. Sherry Lynn Maybach. Dana Lee Maurice. Carl Peter Nielsen. Grace Peterson. Maddie Cave Ritchie. Riley Salters. Yeah! Connor Bridges Say. Joe Reiner Stimson. Bruce Andrew Thomas. Tong Yue. K. 
Kate Weaver Spitzer. Tiffany Patterson Wilkins. Receiving the Master of Arts in Chaplaincy and Ministry Care degree, Matthew Day DeWitt. Receiving concurrently the Master of Arts in Chaplaincy and Ministry Care and the Master of Arts in Counseling degrees, Andronik Terzian. Receiving the Master of Arts in Media, Arts, and Worship, Ye Young Bai. Patricia Louise Parker. Heidi Louise Peterson. Receiving concurrently the Master of Arts in Media Arts and Worship and the Master of Arts in Christian Studies degrees, Alex Larson. Receiving the Master of Arts in Apologetics and Evangelism degree, David Lawrence Eady. Bryce William Himmelreich. Natalie Ann McLaughlin. Receiving concurrently the Master of Arts in Apologetics and Evangelism and the Master of Arts in Christian Studies degrees, Taylor Steele Weaver. Receiving concurrently the Master of Arts in Apologetics and Evangelism and the Master of Arts in Media Arts and Worship, Radha Vias. Receiving the Master of Arts in Christian Leadership degree, Lindsay K. Almond. Michelle Lily Briscoe. Camillo Toussaint Buchanan. Ronald Chris Burke III. Ezekiel Joseph Byerly. Charles Michael Cheatham. William Howard Coggins. Coleman Thomas Ellerbrock. Elizabeth Grace Evans. Hannah Brooke Franklin Hayde. Robert N. Gilbert. Nathan Bryant Gorham. Derek Glenn Gray. Tanya Leah Hinn. Fred Lipscomb Johnson. Roger Philip Landrum.
Gennaro G. Lawhorn. Alan Linder. Anissa Monique Mack. Jacob Andrew Marish. Audrey Catherine Martin. Claudia Asha Matembe. Bridget Alexis Nolly. Arlie Eugene Nelson. Autumn Evangelista Phillips. Kendall Reed. Michael James Ringa. Jared Allen Stevens. Stephen Sylvester Stone. Matthew Allen Tolander. Chad Donald Warner. Hamilton Stevens Winters. Receiving concurrently the Master of Arts in Christian Leadership and the Master of Arts in Christian Education degrees, Jonathan Barone Cortina. Receiving concurrently the Master of Arts in Christian Leadership and the Master of Arts in Christian Studies degrees, Nathaniel Scott Hilliard. Justin Scott Woodruff. Receiving the Master of Arts in Cross-Cultural Ministries degree, Wei Zhao. Michael Carter Clausen. Garrett Stephen Height. Receiving the Master of Arts in Intercultural Studies degree, Ilirio Cesar Arreaza. Receiving the Master of Arts in Biblical Exegesis and Linguistics degree, Joshua Robert Carter. Claire Crane. I'm going to have the MAs stay seated, but everyone else, please stand and congratulate them. And now will the MA graduates stand and express your appreciation.
Well, the candidates for graduation with the Master of Theology degree and Master of Sacred Theology degree, please stand. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to certify that these students, including those in absentia, have met the necessary prerequisites, have completed the required work at Dallas Theological Seminary, and are candidates for the Master of Theology degree or Master of Sacred Theology degree. As the president of Dallas Theological Seminary, with the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, and on behalf of the faculty and in accordance with the laws of the state of Texas, I hereby confer on these candidates the appropriate Master of Theology or Master of Sacred Theology degrees with all of the rights, honors, and privileges attached thereto. Yonel Alcius. Bolivar Earl Allman. Victoria Lee Andrew. Kendra Elise Bailey. Joseph Chaim Benami. Ryan Bainick. Mark Bowser. Joshua Chan. June Chan, Liuan Che Cortez, Verley Christy Chenoweth, Jonathan Kirk Chestnut. Christina Elise Faust. Amber Lee Griffin. Ed Griffune. William Allen Harris. Bob Harrison. Stephen Lewis Hiller. Austin Allen Hornung. Katie Ann Victoria Janney. Chinzorig Jargal Saikon. Caitlin Elizabeth Kirk.
Michael Kopesic. Ryan Wesley Lawrence. Jalen Kendrick Lee. Luigi Roy Matilda. Jacob Shane McCombie. Ryan McGehe. Marian Mijas. Paul Mitskovich. Michael Nett. Jabba Nyakote. Mason Perez. Jeremiah Truett Ross. Taylor Russell. Jason Sham. Charles King Sheldon. Marie Shearing. Julie Grace Shoemaker. Hunter Braden Simmons. Joshua Michael Smith. Austin James Stillman. David Lee Tate. Ricardo Ernesto Uriegas. Avinash Joseph Vitanayagum. Brian Michael Vranikar. Gina Simpson Warner. Jordan Andrew Washington. Nicholas Clayton Willis. Autumn Ann Wilson. Tyler B. Wilson. Stephen Matthew Winham. Kyle Matthew Wisdom. Ken Swanjong Yo. Michael Robert Zubel. We're going to have them sit down. Will you please stand and join me in congratulating these graduates?
And now will the THM graduates stand and express your appreciation to your loved ones. Will the candidates for graduation with the Doctor of Educational Ministry, Doctor of Ministry, and Doctor of Education degree please come forward and stand in front of the podium. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to certify that these students, including those in absentia, have presented the prerequisite college and seminary degrees, have satisfactorily completed the required work at Dallas Theological Seminary, and thus are candidates for the Doctor of Educational Ministry, Doctor of Ministry, or Doctor of Education degree. As the president of Dallas Theological Seminary with the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents and on behalf of the faculty and in accordance with the laws of the state of Texas, I hereby confer on these candidates the appropriate Doctor of Educational Ministry, Doctor of Ministry, or Doctor of Education degrees with all of the rights, honors, privileges attached thereto. Receiving the Doctor of Educational Ministry degree, Dr. Yuk Hua Cheng. Dr. Wei Jun Gong. Dr. Earl Michael Graham, Jr. Dr. Yoon Lee. Dr. Cheryl Lynn Lovely. Dr. Dan Crosby Schmirer. Dr. Deborah Sharp Smith.
Dr. Gary John Spaeth. Dr. Kenneth Anthony Tucker. Dr. Donna Anita Williams. Receiving the Doctor of Ministry degree, Dr. Kyle Allen Boone. Dr. Wei-Sun Joy Chang. Dr. Paul Anthony Cox. Dr. Richard Kevin Hemi. Dr. Cynthia Caroline Hester. Dr. Melinda Bez Holcomb. Dr. John Chang Su Kim. Dr. Jonathan Richard Moreno. The following graduates are from the Seminary Spanish Language DMIN program offered on the campus of Seminario Teológico Centroamericano CETECA in Guatemala City, Guatemala. Dr. Fernando Clemenci Bocchio. Dr. Aris Oriel Martinez Rodriguez. Dr. Dennis Rivera Dominguez. Dr. Victor Ariel Segura Schonbrunn. Dr. Wilber Antonio Ventura. Receiving the Doctor of Education degree, Dr. Deanna Jane Gonzalez. We're going to ask the Doctor of Ministry, Doctor of Education Ministry, and Doctor of Education students to please stand. And audience, if you will remain seated, but please congratulate them on their accomplishments.
Thank you. Will the candidates for graduation with the Doctor of Philosophy degree please come forward and stand in front of the podium. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I am pleased to certify that these students, including those in absentia, have presented the prerequisite college and seminary degrees, have satisfactorily completed the Doctor of Philosophy program, and are thus candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. As the president of Dallas Theological Seminary, with the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents on behalf of the faculty and in accordance with the laws of the state of Texas, I hereby confer on these candidates the Doctor of Philosophy degree with all of the rights, honors, and privileges attached thereto. Congratulations. Dr. Robert Christopher Gresser. Dr. Joshua Paul Wynn. Please join me in congratulating these two men on very well deserved. What a privilege it has been, our Father, to minister to, mentor, train, and teach these graduates over the years that have been with us. But now the tests come. And now reality hits hard. They will need the faith of Abraham to go out not knowing where they're going, not knowing what is before them. The adversary will strike and hit them hard. They will need them moral purity and patience and persistence of a Joseph to continue on in spite of the adversary's attack. You have great things for some of them. They will lead large gatherings and they will take them through difficult days in this world that has lost its way. So give them the vision, the persistence of a Moses to lead their people into your paths. May they step aside and watch you work as they serve you as your representative in their lives. We dedicate them to you. We pray they will have the integrity of a David, that they will be as consistent as the prophets, standing like steers in a blizzard as hardship comes. May they do what is right. May they love kindness. May they walk humbly with their God like Micah. Some lives will be cut short like John the baptizer. May they go down with these words on their lips. He must increase. I must decrease. 
May they, like Paul, fight the good fight, finish that course, and keep the faith. May they, throughout their ministry, be known for hearts of compassion and messages of love and devotion like John. We dedicate each to you in the matchless name of Christ who loved them and gave himself for them through your presence may they serve empowered by your spirit for the glory of Jesus Christ alone we dedicate them and we ask these words of prayer through Christ. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask the graduates to remain standing. Everyone else, please be seated. In our closing benediction, I love the blessings in the Bible. So this is it. And in those words of the book of Numbers, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace and give you peace and give you peace forever the Lord be gracious to you the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace and give you who peace and give you peace forever and give you peace smile and give you who peace and give you peace forever now take your baton and run we love you Thank you.